The NCAA is back and basketball season is finally in full swing. I'm joined by our NCAA experts Christian Carmi and Blake Stepman to discuss the early landscape of the college basketball season. Christian, let's start with you. Who are you most excited to watch coming into this season? I think uh, Missouri. I think with Michael Porter Jr., a.k.a. Baby KD. Um, he's going to be he's 6'10". He can shoot the three. He can pass. He can dribble up the court. They'll be bringing the ball up. Um, they're a really exciting team. He's out right now with a minor injury, but... They beat Iowa State without him. I don't um, think they're an exciting team. I think Michael, jo My <laughs> excuse me, Michael Porter is a very exciting player by himself. He's a lot of hype going into this uh, this season. Uh, but my per my team that I think is going to be very exciting to watch is the Duke Blue Devils. You know, we say that every year that Duke's going to be really good. But four out of their top ten uh, of the players of the twenty seven. They're not exciting to watch. They're just like they're like the San Antonio you can't, Spurs. You can't tell me they're not exciting to watch. They're not the most exciting team in the league. They're they're just not. They they you're, they're like you're play saying systematic Missouri. Basketball. Missouri is the best team to watch. They're going to be really exciting to watch. Michael Porter. That there people are going to tune. That's in all you've named, him. Michael Porter. Who right. else is fun? His to brother watch? is actually on the team, and they just signed a shooting guard who's absolutely filthy. He can rain in from deep, and He's I think that paid. team is going to be getting paid? absolutely nasty. <laughs> I've seen Missouri and Duke both looking to have big, big uh, seasons this year. Blake, we'll start with you for this one. Which top 10 team do you think is going to drop the most this season? Kentucky. Kentucky? Kentucky, right. yes, sir. Why? Why? Because did you see their last two games? Their last two games, one of them, they were they won by three points. You mean their points. first two games? Oh, I'm sorry. Their first two games. Exactly. Dude, John Calipari. This literally, there's four players on this team that are in the top 30 in the, in the NBA mock drafts. They have top like that's talent. great, but did you see the difference between Kevin Duke and Kentucky? Knox is a number t top ten player in the league. They have extreme. But do you see they're depth. not performing? They in almost two lost games. two games. They were trailing against Utah Valley. Who is that? Who Duke destroyed by like almost like thirty? I think 40 Florida points. is going to be much worse. They have the lowest seeding of any top ten team. They're just there's not a ton of high end talent. Whereas Kentucky has a ton of high end talent, and they're coached well. And they're, John Calipari is not going to let their team the be Flo that Florida's bad. different. Florida only plays four ranked teams all season in the preseason poll. And but do you think that Kentucky, Kentucky's like, they have top end talent. They're tall. They're lengthy. They can defend. That's great, they but they're going to lose. The they, they're not, they don't they win. They're not going to win. Lose. They just they played two games. Yeah. Did you see their performance? Their performance, like I said, it, it wasn't impressive. And I, I think year. that they are going to drop. With experience, they, they have four phenomenal players they have they're but can all they play tall. as a team that's the question oh of course they can well they, they, they only need a couple players to score every night and they have variety and they have a lot of great they can play defensively they have their great at shooting free throws great at shooting threes well they play Kansas tonight so that's gonna be one to watch mm -hmm. and I think Kansas is gonna blow their socks off I don't know about that one that's definitely one to watch all right Christian starting with you who's gonna win it all this year I got Duke I mean I am, I love Marvin Bagley. Marvin Bagley is just is he's he's a he's a next generational player. Coach K has not had this type of player in a long long time since arguably Christian Leitner. This guy is is unbelievable. He's huge, six eleven. He can shoot from deep. He can he, he came into the league as a small forward. And now he's playing power forward and center. Yeah, and he can Duke's just good. Duke's good. Game. Duke's great. I agree that they're definitely going to be a contender this year. But the team that I look at is number two, Michigan uh -oh. State. They have a lot of depth, a lot of returning guys. They're, and they also brought in Jaron Jackson from La Lumiere, number one team in high school basketball. You're, oh, you're on the hype I, train. I can't believe they, they never they're going to go on an early run, but they're not going to be able to go far in the playoffs. Well, they have experience, and that's something that Duke really doesn't have besides that Grayson the only Allen time guy. They've who's, went to the final four people. in the last seven years is in 2015. Since 2010, they've only gone to the final four once, and they've always been high ranked, and they've always lost. Duke is, they have four one and done players who are, they're legitimate starters, and they have Grayson Allen, who's now a senior. Well, sometimes, they sometimes don't have to those, depend on. Sometimes those one and done players don't always do it. They're not always focused oh, on winning but, that championship. They want to go to the NBA, they want to be the number one overall player. These guys. And to do that, they need to perform now. Did you see Miles Bridges? Miles Bridges is still on Michigan State because he wants to win for his team. Right. But his coach wanted him to leave because he'd have a great opportunity but they have, in the NBA. You have Marvin Bagley, Wendell Carter, Gary Trent Jr., That's great. Trevin Duvall, yeah. and Grayson they do, Allen. They do have a lot of great players. Five star players all starting. You can, and they're better. They're unbelievably defensively. They're, they're averaging 10 turnovers per game and causing 17 two games, points off of turnovers. Like we said, two games against unranked opponents. Right. And they've been nasty. Well, one thing's for sure. It's going to be a great season to watch from college basketball. I'm excited. 
Coming up next, it's time to move from the court to the ring as our WWE experts determine their five-man dream teams.